In recent months, the country has suffered from increasing volumes of counterfeit goods. The latest was a case of sugar from Brazil that, according to authorities, was expired and unfit for human consumption, but was being repackaged for sale. That we are going to act without mercy. Sugar doesn't arrive initially from the sky, or sugar doesn't arrive somewhere in industry from the sky. Expired sugar, you know, and contraband goods don't arrive in Nairobi from the sky. They have come through some of our border points. The ministry estimates that the contraband goods could be costing the country about 30 billion shillings, just enough to finance Trukana County government for three years in budgetary allocation from the national government. It is hurting our country. And then, then we, no one needs to say this again and again because you understand what it means jobs. You know, some of our neighboring countries have stopped dealing with us in certain areas because of our own behavior. The, the, the problem we are dealing with in Eldred right now about the adulteration of fuel is something that has actually hurt us and hurt our trade in the region. Already mapping of different towns notorious for certain trades is on, intention being to nap those involved to end the crime. We had a very aggressive security operation in Eldred and it's going on uh, right now in Nairobi and in another part of the country that I don't want to name because we want to move uh, on certain uh, contraband goods. If Kenyans knew how much we have suffered as a result of the adulteration of fuel and the monkey business going on around the pipeline in Eldred, they will know that this is something we ought to deal with and deal with decisively. A section of clearing and forwarding agents at the border post complained of harassment by customs officers, but the CS promised them reprieve. Wame overstay hapa imekua ni digumu kudumia wanainchi. Kwa sababu wameka hapa mpaka wanaona labda hapa ni kwao. Kwa hivyo, anamuka, anafanya kitu anataka. And I promise you that we are going to look into that issue. You will see a difference by the end of this month. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier, the CS visited Busia County offices of the national government, perturbed by their state of workstations. Sir, what happens, the, the waiver probably you may be talking about. At this civil registry office, the register of persons was at pains to explain the poor state of furniture and general organization. What is happening? This is how we serve the public. The county commissioner, Michael Oletialal, taking the hit. His credentials questioned before his juniors. Are you actually aware of your responsibility as the leader of national government functions in the county, as the county commissioner? When were you last reviewed? I told you I will see a person in the game. To do what? What, what did you come to do? Maybe, uh, maybe. This is how we work for the people of Kenya. This is how we serve them, the citizens, the people who pay us, you and I, people who pay us a salary every month. This is how we work, work for them. You know, a cafe imposed on Mount Elgon area has been extended for a period of one month. Since March this year, a dust to dawn cafe has been on, and with several arrests made of key suspects, the cabinet secretary says that land adjudication is almost complete in the area, and this will give a resolution to one of the main challenges that has been cause of the conflict. But this time round, the cafe will be running from 9 p.m. and not 6 p.m. Sam Getikosri, ZNTV, Kakamega County.